This is ESPN 1520, the radio home of UB basketball, the 2015 Mid-American Conference Champions. UB Basketball Insider is presented to you by Napa Auto Parts, co-sponsored by Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill, and brought to you by your team UB partners, New Era Cap, Nike, Ad Pro Sports, WGRZ Channel 2, and Pepsi. The State University of New York Bulls are back and ready to defend their championship on the hardwood. Time for UB Basketball Insider, presented by Napa Auto Parts. Now, here's Howard Simon. Hey, good evening from Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill. And we bring you another edition of UB Basketball Insider. My name is Howard Simon. We invite you to come on out to Santora's. We have our focus tonight on the women's basketball team. And then, of course, at 7 o'clock, it'll be the UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold, so make sure you join us for that as well. Uh, and we are, as like I said, going to talk women's hoops. A couple of exhibition games in the record books. Their season opener is Saturday at 2 against LIU Brooklyn at Alumni Arena. We'll have the game on ESPN 1520. You can also watch it on ESPN 3. We're joined by Felicia Leggett-Jack, the head coach of the Bulls, and we'll be also joined tonight in all the three different segments by the assistant coaches. First up, Cherie Cordoba with us. Ashley Zubel will join us. Kristen Schrocker will join us. Ladies, welcome to the show. Hi. Thank nice you. Nice to see both of you. Congratulations on on a couple of couple of wins in exhibition games. Now the season starts on Saturday. Felicia, let's start with you. All right, so you use those two games to evaluate what you have, the returnees, the newcomers, as you broke all the tape down and looked at everything with the staff. What would you learn through the two games? we got to get better on defense. <laughs> uh, we, we are really working hard, and sometimes on defense, it's like we're working in a circle. We're not talking enough, and we're not really uh, thinking next play situations, you know, and, and that helps I can be, get better as well. Uh, but, you know, it's too early to be satisfied. We, we're excited that they're going hard. We're excited that we're playing as a unit, but we certainly want our defense to be a lot better uh, moving forward. What are, Cherie, what, what were some of the positives as the staff sat down and looked at both games up close? What did you see coming out of them? Well, just talking about our defense, I think there is positives in that. We're, uh, our guards are in their lanes. We're running and jumping, and we're getting those open layups. So the fast breaks are, are really starting to happen to us, unlike last year. And I think, um, you know, Joe's starting to uh, shoot the ball very well. Um, Stephanie's organizing the team. Lots of talk from her. Um, I think there's positives from pr- pretty much everybody on the team. Should we mention Joanna Smith? one of your underclassmen. It's a pretty young team, but she's certainly one of the leaders as one of the under, or upperclassmen, I should say. Um, Felicia, what, what, what do you expect from her, not only in terms of leadership, but in terms of production? She looked very good in the first two exhibition games. She's just an a unbelievably unselfish young lady. Uh, she doesn't really care who gets the credit. She just wants us to have success. And uh, one thing she did for us is she came back to school in great shape. Uh, we had we do a mile and a half run. We do uh, 15 champions, and her mile and a half run she did it in 9:12. Uh, that's that's moving. Uh, she's very fast. Sometimes she's faster than than she needs to be, particularly on defense. Uh, we like to force a certain direction, and uh, she kind of overplays too hard, and then have to uh, overcompensate. But one thing I love that she's doing is taking the young kids by the wing and just saying, "This is how we do it. This is what Coach Jack expects. If you go hard, you can make mistakes." Just you can take bad shots, but don't mess up her on her defense because she will lose her mind. How, Sheree, how much are you, it is a, a very young roster. How much are the coaches leaning on the upperclassmen on the roster to kind of, you know, show everybody the way to do this? Well, hopefully not too much because there's not many of them. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, that's what I said. It's really kind of hard. Yeah. yeah, but the ones we do have are leading yeah. and um, really, I think, doing a great job with the young ones. We have a, a huge nucleus of the young, you know, the team being so young, but they're all quite mature. Um, you know, here for the right reasons, here wanting to win, and they're all working really, really hard as a team. So I, I think we're all winners, you know. You've worked with Coach before at previous stops. Yes, what have I you learned about her over the Obviously, you like working with her. So what, what have she you learned? She just keep thinking I'm going to change. And she's like, oh, crap, she's the same person. <laughs> what, what, what have you learned about her over the years working so close she to her? She's the most competitive person that I've ever come across. But being competitive, she has the most passion to win, the most passion to grow her players as young women and to put them out into the, the world, you know, fully equipped to, to make it. So um, I'm a fan of Coach Jack and, and will always, you know, try it. Well, she gets rid of me, maybe or not, but, you know, um, want to be on her staff because I believe in what she's trying to do um, for, for this program. Well, you must like her work because you keep hiring her. So yes. what, what, what does she bring to your coaching staff? 
Well, you know, she even behind that accent, behind that that beautiful face. I, I do love the accent, yeah, by the yeah, way. It's, it's, it's like you had me at hello. So. Yeah. <laughs> she was a cop for four years, and uh, okay, I'm gonna back yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and she 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 lets me be me. I can be all of me, and I'm a really intense person. But what she does behind the scenes is kind of talk with the young ladies and help them understand in a quiet tone and in a in a motherly tone what we're trying to get out of each of them, each one of them. I, she's the most loyal person I've ever come across. Um, we, we had a good year, a couple of years at Hofstra, and we brought, each, brought her to uh, Indiana, and she was tremendous at Indiana. And what's interesting is when Coach Ree is on my staff, I have my best winning percentage. And so we're excited about what, we're did, what we did last year, and we're looking forward to many, many more years uh, in our future. Now, you can tell by the accent, Sheree is not from Buffalo originally. Uh, you're from Australia. I and, am. and there's a heavy Australian flavor on the <laughs> roster. So um, what, what's it, I mean, is it easy for you to recruit back in, in your native Australia and bring the, those players over here to UB? Well, the, with those guys, it was. Um, one of my, well, my godchild's father was their coach of uh, Stephanie and uh, Courtney. Okay, that helps. So that, that really got helped. got an in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then with the twins, I, we were at the final four and I ran into a gentleman that I hadn't known previously because I've been out of coaching for, you know, the last six years. So um, he had a couple of kids. We needed um, some guards. They had great sides. I didn't see them play but um trusted his opinion so so that certainly helped what's the level of play like not only in australia you have a player from netherlands you went into canada bosnia herzegovina what is the level of play like around the globe when it comes to to their equivalent of high school basketball as you look at the recruits i i don't think it's as good as america Um, america is you know definitely the world leader um australia i think our well we were silver medalists the Americans beating us every time. Um, so I think our league's very, very good. Our, our, our pro league is great. We have two imports coming into Australia and, and playing in our national league. Um, de- depending on what country, I have never been to Bosnia, so I, I can't, couldn't even tell you. Holland, I don't think it's as good. Um, I don't want to put them down, but, um, you know, you get to Germany, that's, that's reasonably good. Spain's very good. But I think it's the uh, countries now like China and... and um, and Russia. Yeah, those countries that are really, they've got the money, so they're getting all the best players. So. Is, is there a lot of recruiting internationally at the Division One women's level, Coach? Oh, absolutely. Uh, if you look on uh, California, Berkeley's team, they just signed a kid. She's a freshman. She's about six foot ten, and she's from China. And you, you just, uh, the best one, the best kids just committed. Uh, that's Korean. Uh, uh, it's going to Baylor. So, yeah, it's out there. It's like you know, we just want the best players for our team. That's going to have the great character, the great academics, and then the basketball. Uh, a lot of uh, Americans now, uh, it's almost like we're acting like we're, we want to be overly recruited. And coaches just want people that want to be on their team. And, and that's what we're doing here at Buffalo. We want people that want to be here. It's a great international school with 30% uh, international uh, students. And uh, we're not going to work real hard to try to make you convince you that Buffalo is a cool place to be. We're going to just tell you that. We're going to show you who we are. And if you're interested, yes. If you're not, we're going to go get them from anywhere in the world. So, so when the players come over here, Sheree, I mean, since you, you're from abroad, you played over abroad, abroad rather than came back here and played at UNLV in college. Is there a transition process you go through when you're recruited internationally and play here? And if there is, how do you help them deal with that? Well, Absolutely, there's a transition. The the culture is different. You know, every, I think if you're a young lady and want to play basketball, America is the place that you want to play it. So coming here is like an amazing experience, and everyone's so excited. But you're all also very nervous that oh my god, am I good enough? You know, that, so you definitely go through that. Once you go, oh okay, I can compete, and I'm here. You know. Um, to be a great piece of the puzzle for the team then you grow and I think being away from your mom and dad or your family you you have to grow very fast so the maturity level I think it's not an instant but over you know a short period of time you get there so freshman year I think is hard but I think it's also hard for kids out you know living in America but you know you've got more school I mean it's, it's coming every direction you, you're training more than you ever have the pressure to be you know I want to start I want to play there, there's all this so I think every kid goes through it culturally I think it's a little bit more for the international kids but I also think they love it like there's they love being in America what what you do here in universities we don't get 
anywhere else in the world. You know, you go to university to study and that's all you get. Whereas here you get to study a free education. You're on scholarship. You're part of a, an amazing team, a culture. And um, I think it's very, very exciting. And I think they feel really, really lucky, you know. Well, Cherie, we appreciate the visit, and uh, good luck the rest of the season. Thanks Thank for sharing you. with us this evening. Absolutely. Coach, you have to stay. You stick oh, yes. around. Uh, when we get back, good we're job, gonna, Coach. We're going to be talking <laughs> with uh, Ashley Zuber, another member of the coaching staff, our UB Basketball Insider Show coming your way tonight from Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill on Transit Road. Come on out. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the great food here at Santora's. At 7, we'll have the UB Football Insider. You can stick around for that with Lance Leipold. More coming up in a moment on ESPN 1520. Never know how. You'll do anything to keep your phone alive, like fashioning an adapter from a hairpin and some used gum. Or get the Blue Fuel Portable Power Bank at Napa for only $18.99. Two full battery charges for your phone for one low price. For $18.99, the Portable Power Bank will keep your phone fully charged. No hairpins or chewing gum required. Conquer the job with Napa Know How. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores while supplies last. Offer expires 12-31-15. You didn't forget about us, did you? I hope not. Because we're back, and we've added a few more to the family. He tries to run it left side, and somehow, it will the shoulder lamp. It's good! Wigginton slapped it in! Kick it out, Ski got it! Season tickets for your defending MAC champions and NCAA tournament team are on sale now. Call the UB Ticket Office to get your tickets today. Join us at Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill. Hey, it's Paul Santora letting you know we have two great locations. One on Millersport Highway next to the Marriott. One on Transit Road next to Transit Lanes. We've got 60 taps, 66 TVs. All of our food is made to order with the freshest and most natural ingredients. Both locations have live music, Millersport on Friday, Transit Friday and Saturday night. There's no better place to enjoy football and hockey with great drink and food specials for every game. Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill since 1927. Four generations strong, the only family to say we are the original. Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill. Great food, great people, great beer. Midweek football returns to UB Stadium on Wednesday, November 11th when the Bulls take on the Huskies of Northern Illinois on Military Appreciation Night. Kickoff is at 8 p.m., but the excitement starts at 5 p.m. right inside Stampede Square. Don't miss out on the tailgate concert featuring Fleetwood Mac tribute band Rumors. Live for game day. It's big-time entertainment you won't want to miss. For tickets and more information, call 877-UB-THERE or visit ubbulls.com. Welcome back to UB Basketball Insider at Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill on Transit Road. Come on out. Enjoy the rest of the show. We've got the Football Insider coming up at uh, 7 o'clock with Lance Leipold. By the way, the women's team will tip off their season. Their opener is Saturday, LIU Brooklyn. It is uh, Faith and Family Day at the game. All tickets will be just $5. Children 8th grade and younger will also be invited to participate in post-game layups after the game. And if you'd like tickets and more information, one eight seven seven you be there or uh, ubbulls.com. All right, Felicia Leggett, Jack, sticking around for the rest of the show, and another member of her coaching staff is with us. Do you, do you want to do the introduction with Ashley Zuber? I mean, you, I mean, I can do it, or you, if you'd like to introduce her, you can. Well, uh, we, I, I'd like I, to I introduce her. You, when you're done I mean, coaching I, and you I want was to go able to broadcasting. To you know. hire her because I really like her. <laughs> I like the fact that she was already working for the university and yeah. getting her doctorate's degree. I like the fact that she was already doing our table and, and around our team and understanding what our team was. But more importantly, I like the fact that she was already a player at Buffalo and really had this passion to see it through. She was, um, in her senior year, she was eighth in the country in, in assists, and she really worked hard to write, try to grow this thing from a player perspective. And to have her now as a doctor and a coach, on my staff to help me grow her alma mater on the, from the academic side as well as basketball. My cup overflows, baby. <laughs> so, so wait a minute. Now, you got a doctorate, right? Yes. What are you doing going into coaching? This is long hours, a lot That's of stress. What, right? what are you doing? I get that a lot, but I just love this game, and I'm so passionate about it, and there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. When you were playing, did you think about coaching? Oh, yeah, something? every day. I was like, I, I just can't wait to get through school. I just want to coach. Wow. And so she would get her doctorate instead. Uh, well, that's not a bad thing to have. But from your standpoint, I mean, you I, you could tell you bring passion to, to your job. And I assume it, you know, it feeds up the, the kids feed off that a player speed off that rather. Um, how much did that matter to you when you were trying to hire an assistant coach to see that kind of passion and energy? Where does that rank on your list of things you want and someone on your staff? 
What, the, what Dr. Coach does for our, our team is something I cannot do. She is one of the best ball handlers that I've ever seen. You know, she, uh, my son actually works out with her because he, I need her, him to work out with the best. And we can afford anywhere anybody in the country, but we think we have the best right on our staff. And our kids are getting better because they're working with her on a daily basis. Uh, her passion is, is beyond reproach, as well as everybody else on the staff. You know, Cherie brings a 42% three-point shooting percentage to my staff and coach uh, Zuber brings the, the ball handling and the expertise and she's more of our offensive coach and she sees the game kind of like in slow motion when it comes to the offensive side so but we all bring something different and um, the passion is real you know it, it, sometimes we're going to multiple combust because everybody's <laughs> like Aah! and I love every second of it. Ashley what does it mean to be coaching at your alma mater? I'm so grateful for this opportunity. It's like, it's home to me. So it's so special, and it means something more than just any other school I could coach at. And these players are like family to me in a way. So it, every every time I walk into that building, I just think of how special it is and how happy I am to be here and to be with Coach Jack, who's just so passionate. What was the transition like when you first started? This is your third year on the staff. Was it pretty easy get, getting into coaching and, and just you know diving right in like that? It was definitely a learning experience. You know, I was here, so I knew people at UB, and that was the easy part. But adjusting to that coaching role was was hard because I can't get out there and I can't do it. And I can't – I was more nervous in games than I ever was before because I can't play. So my voice becomes that much more important. Was that tough? I would see, to me, as a player, and when you have success, then you go into – like you said – Sometimes I wonder if a player coaching can't handle someone else not having success on the court. Like, you don't understand. Hey, it worked for me. Why isn't it working for you? (laughs) Was that something you had to deal with at all? Like, this is how I did it. But you have to really adjust to each individual player when you're coaching. Kind of. And and I think when you're a young coach, you just want to do it for them and you want them to get it. But at the same time, it's about developing that relationship and understanding where they're coming from and meeting them where they are, what coach always talks about. So... Now going into my third year, I feel like we really have a relationship with these players and they're buying into what we do and they're just great kids and they want to learn and they want to get better. So that's really exciting. How much, uh, you know, you've gone through this before, balancing playing and education and it's worked out, it worked out very well for you. How much do you, is part of your role helping the players in that area as well, not only on the court, but off the court as they try and go through day-to-day activities at the University of Buffalo? There's so much more that goes into coaching than you would ever think about. Like on a daily basis, they're always in our office. How do we go to study hall and go to class and practice? And so we're more like mentors for them during the day. And then we cross that those lines and we're in their face. And then when we leave the gym, we're like, all right, do you have any, everything you need? Are you eating? Are you sleeping well? And all that stuff. So there's a lot that goes into it. Now, doctorate and, and she's in what? Physical therapy was the major, right? Yes. So is this like a two for one deal? she like an assistant coach and an extra trainer? I mean, th- does it help having someone on staff who's got the physical therapy background? Well, we, we have uh, Beth uh, Tenor, who's really uh, amazing, our, our athletic trainer. But it really helps when Beth is doing something and some, some of the players need to stretch their IT band or, or have some issues. Uh, Dr. Coach Zuber absolutely knows what they're talking about. I'm like... You know, just stretch that ankle or just, I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. And I just send them over to her and she knows exactly what they're doing and uh, what, what we're going through. I have to say this. This is so cool to be here. You know, we have our football coach and his lovely wife here and, and John Fuller and his staff. And I see Alan and, and, and Kathy Twist. We have such an amazing staff here that it's easy for us to be good. It's easy for us to really want to fight and be great as a staff because we have a village of people that's around us that they don't have to be here. They're just here to support the coaches and what we're trying to do. I just want to publicly thank everybody on the Danny White tutelage and our, our president for allowing us to have this connectedness with our people that work with us. Well, I, I don't know about the rest of the staff, but in terms of Fuller and the athletic communications people, if you say free food, oh, <laughs> it's about Louis, the Brian, food. John, they're just here for the food. I didn't I, know. I, I thought I, it was I my think, personality, the coaching staff. Well, okay, maybe. I just think, I mean, I, they're like media. When we hear free food, <laughs> you just name the spot. We'll be there. It means necessary. That's it. It's free yeah. food. Uh, before we let you go, I want to ask you, I mean, you had a very good playing career for the University of Buffalo. What stands out? What do you, what do you remember most about being a player at UB? Just the people. 
you know, you develop relationships as you play this game and even in coaching, and that's what you remember from it. You don't remember really the wins and the losses, although I wish we would have been more successful when I played. But I just remember those relationships that I've built over time, and I love Buffalo, and UB will always have a special place in my heart. We appreciate you stopping in and visiting. Thank, Thank you for you your time. Much. Good luck this season. Good job, Coach. Another former UB player is on the staff here, and Kristen Schrock, will join us next. It is the UB Basketball Insider. We're at Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill on Transit Road. Lance Leipold and the Football Insider at 7 on ESPN 1520. Never know how. You'll do anything to keep your phone alive, like fashioning an adapter from a hairpin and some used gum, or get the Blue Fuel Portable Power Bank at Napa for only $18.99. Two full battery charges for your phone for one low price. For $18.99, the Portable Power Bank will keep your phone fully charged. No hairpins or chewing gum required. Conquer the job with Napa Know How. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores while supplies last. Offer expires 12-31-15. You didn't forget about us, did you? I hope not. Because we're back, and we've added a few more to the family. Left side, and somehow, it'll win over the shoulder. Lamb is good! Wiggins and slams it in! Kick it out, Skeet, got it! Season tickets for your defending MAC champions and NCAA tournament team are on sale now. Call the UB ticket office to get your tickets today. Join us at Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill. Hey, it's Paul Santora letting you know we have two great locations. One on Millersport Highway next to the Marriott. One on Transit Road next to Transit Lanes. We've got 60 taps, 66 TVs. All of our food is made to order with the freshest and most natural ingredients. Both locations have live music. Millersport on Friday, Transit Friday and Saturday night. There's no better place to enjoy football and hockey with great drink and food specials for every game. Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill since 1927. Four generations strong. The only family to say we are the original. Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill. Great food, great people, great beer. Midweek football returns to UB Stadium on Wednesday, November 11th when the Bulls take on the Huskies of Northern Illinois on Military Appreciation Night. Kickoff is at 8 p.m., but the excitement starts at 5 p.m. right inside Stampede Square. Don't miss out on the tailgate concert featuring Fleetwood Mac tribute band Rumors. Live for game day. It's big-time entertainment you won't want to miss. For tickets and more information, call 877-UB-THERE or visit ubbulls.com. Hey, we're back at uh, Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill on Transit Road, and uh, we have Lance coming up at 7 o'clock, UB Football Insider. Basketball, don't forget, men are home Friday night at 9. They open up the regular season against Pitt Bradford, and the ladies will host LIU Brooklyn Saturday at 2. If you want to get tickets, one eight seven seven ub there or ubbulls.com. Both games right here on ESPN 1520. You can also watch them on ESPN 3. Joined by another member of the coaching staff, Kristen Sharkey. You remember her. Uh, it's not like her playing career is that long ago. In fact, it was, it was just last season, and she is uh, with us here on the Basketball Insider. Kristen, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So I'll ask you the same thing I asked Ashley, and it's even more fresh. You get done playing last season. What possessed you to get into coaching? Coach Jack. I mean, um, I think that at the end of the season, um, I had the decision to either go play overseas or – stay here and help coach Dak build what you know what she started here and um I just believe so much in what she does and th- how she builds young women um I, for myself like I I'm living proof of what she does so um just being able to just stay with it and uh continue to help her build this thing as you watched Kristen play I mean were you thinking over the course of time or as a senior her career's coming to an end did you were you thinking she'd be a great person to add to my staff well, it would be an honor to have her. Ever since I met her, I knew that she was going to be committed to what we're trying to build. But when it got closer to her graduating, I knew that she could possibly play overseas and, and make a lot of money. Uh, I, I just, She's a great student. She's a 3.7 overall GPA. She started her master's in business uh, um, last year, her senior fifth year, and she had a chance to continue that as well. She has so many array of great things she could have done and to have her be a part of my staff is humbling i always like to have people that play for me on my staff and I, it never worked out it only lasted a little bit but with christian i think she has the best mind of all the all the young ladies that work for me that play for me and i have players that's over at michigan state as an associate head coach and i got players all over the country p- coaching i think that she could be in the air of all of them well you mentioned the 3.7 
the MAC Presidential Award, the SUNY Chancellor Scholar Athlete, the MAC Medal of Excellence. You got all of those awards. So obviously you had no problems balancing education and playing basketball. That's a, it's a lot to get in in a daily basis. Yeah, I, I don't really think it's, a, it's really a balancing. It's more of what every day we're instilled to be the best that we can be. Yep. And so when you're at practice and you have a coach that's getting in on you, if you're not going the hardest that you can, then what's the point? Like, why am I here? Why am I going to school if I'm not going to be the best student that I can be? So you get into coaching, and it's very early, obviously, in the season. A couple games in. How do you like it so far? I like it a lot. Um, it's definitely been a change, obviously, because – I'm not seeing things from the other side. It's a lot, di- a lot different um, than I expected. I think for me right now, it's just trying to not get so frustrated with certain players. And I just want to just be like, why are you doing that and stuff like that. Um, but I have to just have more patience and, and, you know, talk to them on a more relationship basis. And be like, this is why Coach Jack's telling you because that you're not doing this right or this right. And um, – I think that's really just been the challenge so far is just not getting so frustrated and um, thinking about how can I help them do it instead of how would I do it. I wanted to talk to you, in addition to everything else you got going on, you're involved in the website. The team has mm-hmm. a website, ubwbvillage.com. Yes. Why and what's it all about? Um, it's the village. Like Coach Jack always says, it takes a village. You know, We're going to need this community, the university. We need everyone behind us that we can. We're so young this year. Um, and it's something that we want to build just to have, um, like, a relationship with our fans as well. If we're going to go out, we want to go out and help you. You come back, reach out to us, and we'll help each other that way. Um, yeah. I want to ask you about the opener. You got, you got a game on Saturday. Yes, Get we ready do. for the regular season. So um, off the top, I asked you what you learned about the team through the two exhibition games. But now as you start the regular season, Coach, what do you think this team will do well this season? Well, we're, we're going to steal the hearts of the community. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get out there. We're going to play with such passion and such enthusiasm of purpose that this community is going to want to support this young team. That's what the village is all about. Uh, we're going to need their shoulders to stand on. I think that it starts with tomorrow when we go out and play Northern Illinois in football. I just think that this is a great institution, a great institution of higher education that has great athletics and when we go out there and do what we're going to do against northern illinois then friday we're going to start off with our men's basketball team and uh, their season opener and as we uh, talk about men's basketball we're praying for crystal our um, men's basketball head coach's wife who's in a struggle right now but the battle's not her it's the lord in my opinion and uh, then we're going to get out there on saturday and this community is going to embrace us i just i'm claiming that right now in his name and once they they, they embrace what we're trying to do all we're going to do is fly we're not going to win every game, but we're going to work our tails off for this community. It's important that this community knows that we, you, this community is worth the fight. This community is worth the intensity of purpose. And we're going to give you everything we have on every single day. We're going to try to win every single day. Not games, but every single day. And if we can do that and look in the mirror, I think this community is going to really enjoy what the, we put out there every game. Well, it all starts 2 o'clock on Saturday against LIU Brooklyn. Coach, good luck, and thank you very much for joining us tonight. Let's go Bulls, baby. And Kristen, thank you very much, and good luck this season as well. Thank you. Take a short break. We're back here at Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill. We'll be talking football coming up in just a moment. It's the UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold, a big win for the Bulls over Kent State, and a big game coming up Wednesday night against Northern Illinois. Joe Licata will be joining us, the senior quarterback from Williamsville. That's all next on ESPN 1520. This has been the UB Basketball Insider Show presented by Napa Auto Parts. You're listening to ESPN 1520, the radio home of UB Athletics. For Bulls updates 24-7, visit ubbulls.com.